wants to speak for Mike. So, if you guys don't mind, I'd like to introduce uh, David Fairclough, who is Mike's best friend. Uh, I should say Colonel David Fairclough, retired United Air, uh, U.S. Air Force. Uh, he has been with Mike in every engagement, starting in Vietnam, through Iraq, up to Afghanistan. So you can understand the kind of man that Mike was and that Dave is, and that's part of the reason why I really want to have a moment for this gentleman. So, Dave, would you mind saying a little something? Thank you, Kevin. This really is appropriate because when Mike and I learned about this thing, we were really, he was really tickled and so was I. <clears throat> and I think you all enjoyed the day. You understand how much value this program has. If anybody appreciated it more than you did, it was Mike. And he was extremely looking forward to seeing it and getting here this weekend. But if you're a disabled vet, you know that Mike Ward did something that was good for him because he has been working for vets for 20 plus years that I know about. Can you hear me over there? My voice, I'm used to speaking in a microphone and an oxygen mask. <laughs> Mike grew up around here, hiked almost all these mountains, he loved this country, and he joined the Air Force during the middle of the Vietnam stuff, and he stayed in and did all kinds of things. That, uh, he was one of those go-to guys that you knew, no matter where you were in the military, you didn't have to go talk to the boss, you were talking to the guy that could get it done. Mike was one of those kind of guys. And he, uh, he made E-9 in the Air Force, which is not an easy thing to do. He didn't get to pin it on because he got hit in, in Korea. He got uh, his skull crushed over there. And, it, and he should have died, even by today's medical standards. He shouldn't have lived through that. But he's a pretty tough nut. And, uh, if some of you had been in the athletic world back in the 50s or 60s, I guess, you know, run into Mike. He was a state wrestling champion. People knew who Mike was. He was a hard charging, capable guy. And he had what we now call uh, TBI. And he's actually one of the guys that is the research people that uh, learned a lot from guys like Mike to help you guys now. He was one of the early TBIs. But he. Uh, survived that despite all the odds and he came back to Central Oregon where he'd kind of grown up and he's been volunteering every day since then. Every afternoon if you go down to the Shoots County Veterans Service Office you can get in there and they've got you know, paid people doing stuff but Mike's probably helped more vets than anybody else that we've ever had working there for salary. He uh, has been involved in almost every veterans thing we've got going. He was right there when we started the Ben Veterans uh, Day Parades, which is now the second biggest one, and the third biggest one maybe in the country, arguably. Uh, <clears throat> he's been a key guy for the VFW, the American Legion. He's been the local DAV commander, the state DAV commander. He is technically still the guy that schedules and supervises the bands that you ride to the VA hospitals. He's the hospital service coordinator supervisor to make sure all that stuff runs. Mike and I were on the governor's task force to try to get better transportation for vets. And some of that's coming true. We've got eight different uh, wheelchair vans from PBA guys really appreciate it. That was a huge thing. We had to break the roadblocks through all the bureaucracies to take good used vehicles from, from ODOT. Let them be used by the VA, let the VAB drivers drive them. Big deal. That was really hard to do. It wouldn't have happened. So Mike was a great guy. The bulletin had a better picture of him than that. He had, we tipped him over out here the first day up here. And I thought he was never going to come back. But before the day was over, he had a grin from ear to ear. And just a wonderful guy, and I know he wanted to be here really bad. It was a huge thing. 
and I appreciate what you guys are doing because this, you know, people like you, the volunteers here, don't appreciate how big a deal it is for the vets that you're doing this. So I want to thank all of you.